Hi, I'm Bob Picardo. Hi, Ethan Phillips. And we're here in Vulcan, Manitoba. All right. Alberta. Vulcan, Manitoba. Let's close. start again. Hi, my name is Bob Picardo. Ethan Phillips here. And we're here in Vulcan, Alberta. And that's pretty much how things went the rest of the time. I spent talking to Ethan Phillips and Robert Picardo, the stars of Star Trek Voyager at Spock Days in Vulcan over the weekend. The pair first met fans at the meet and greet at the Vulcan Legion Friday night. Now, the pair who were friends before Voyager started its run in 1994 obviously know each other very well as they played off each other during the course of our talk and showed some surprising knowledge about Canada. Did you know that Vulcan has 17 million inhabitants? Wait a minute. Um, 17, 1,700 inhabitants, did you know that? I had no idea. 1,782, according to the 1911, uh, I'm sorry, the 1989 census. It seems your facts are a little uh, scrambled. They're, no, they're a little old. They're, oh, okay. They're, they're I, know, so am I. I know it's a smaller town than I'm used to, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I've been to Calgary, which is a pretty uh, impressive city. And this is, but the people are very warm here. Have you noticed that? They're all wearing sweaters. You'd be warm too. I mean, if you had on this kind of clothing. And, and oh, you mean nice? Very <laughs> nice. I mean friendly and nice. He's interpreting everything he says. No, they're very nice. Exactly. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt you. They're a lot nicer here than they are in Saskatoon. I'll tell you that much. And I don't even want to talk about the people from Regina. I'd like to, uh, to apologize to the people from Saskatoon and Regina right now. He doesn't mean that. No. Having said that, I like Manitoba. Don't get me wrong. Yes. I like Winnipeg a lot. Mm -hmm. You put the man in Manitoba and the wind in Winnipeg. If I had your, if I was as funny as you, I'd really have it made. I swear. Trust me, you wouldn't. Vulcan was definitely the right place to be over the weekend for Star Trek fans, and the place to start was the Vulcan Tourism and Trek Center. Not only can you stop there to find out about Vulcan or get directions, but you can pick up some Star Trek merchandise, browse their collection of memorabilia, or try your luck at the Vulcan Space Adventure. I caught up with Carl Swenson and Mandy Fair from Saskatoon, who were on their first trip to Vulcan for Spock Days. So we went to Comic Con last year in Calgary when they had all the TNG staff, um, but this is way more intimate. I felt like we could actually ask questions and talk to Robert Picardo, and he was right there in the same room with us, so it's really a cool experience. So are you guys going to be back? I think so, definitely, and we're buying presents for all our friends who we bragged about going to. We won't tell. We won't, we won't say their names because they're probably embarrassed because they didn't come with us. Uh, but I think they'll be back with us next year after we... Um, I'm just gonna have to like do like one of these, these my mouths. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> On Saturday and Sunday, fans made their way to the high school for Q&As and photo and autograph sessions with the stars. There was also the parade Saturday morning, followed by a street party all day downtown. Overall, it was another successful event with everyone on hand already looking forward to next year. Otherwise, I'll leave the final word to both Phillips and Picardo. This could potentially be one of the most fascinating interviews ever. I, and I used I underline the word potentially, depending on if they get rid of every other interview ever been done. <laughs> exactly. Right? And depending if this interview ever actually starts. Have we begun the interview?